Hello, seventh and eighth grade, because you guys have the same assignment for English, so I'm making one video. Yay, me. So today's Monday, May the 4th. <laughs> Star Wars shirt. So what you guys are doing for ELA this week is reading some ReadWorks articles and then answering two sets of questions. So there's three articles, two questions each for a total of three articles and six questions. So I have it pulled up on my computer with like the PDF version of the packet that you guys are mailed. So I'm just gonna read it from there because I think that's the easiest way I can do it. Because I could probably log into ReadWorks and I think ReadWorks reads to you, but I'm just gonna read it all together, read the article, read the questions and we'll be good. So here is my screen. Your first article should be um, NASA Stardust Review. In the wee hours of January 15th, 2006, stargazers caught a glimpse of an intergalactic treasure chest blazing through Earth's atmosphere. The space capsule plunged to the ground at a speed of about 28,800 miles per hour. Its fiery dive lit up the sky in the western United States. When the container landed safely in the Utah desert, excited scientists from NASA brought, uh, burst into applause. Stardust, which captured Comet dust and space particles completed a 2.9 billion mile journey. The probe spent seven years exploring space and collecting particles that may hold clues to the solar system's origins. We visited a comet, grabbed a piece of it, and the capsule landed here, Donald Brownlee, an astronomy professor and the mission's head investigator told reporters. It's an incredible thrill. Stardust cargo contains more than a million particles, most of the particles are less than one-tenth of the width of a human hair. Scientists could spend decades of studying the tiny fragments. Astronomers had been counting down the days until the container's arrival. Stardust was launched on February 7, 1999. Five years later, the probe streaked through a comet, collecting dust along the way. A comet is a heavenly body made up of ice and dust that often develops along a cloudy tail or sorry, that often develops a long cloudy tail of dust when it is near the sun. Many scientists believe that comets are leftovers from the formation of the sun and planets about 4.6 billion years ago. Researchers hope that dust will provide clues to how solar system, the solar system was created. It also helps scientists understand how certain materials combine to form life. Stardust could provide a new window into the distant past, astronomer Simon Green told reporters. So that's the article. Hold on a second. Peyton, can you stop making that awful noise? You can scroll, just don't go because Lord knows what that sounds like. So your first set of questions are NASA Stardust Review comprehension questions. Number one, according to the text, how many years did Stardust spend exploring space and collecting particles? A, five, B, seven, C, nine, or D, 11? Number two, Based on the text, what was the cause of scientists from NASA bursting into applause? A, a space probe spent seven years exploring space. B, a space probe streaked through a comet. C, a space capsule containing space particles landed safely. Or D, stargazers caught a glimpse of a space capsule. Number three, read the sentences from the text. Astronomers had been counting down the days until the container's arrival. Stardust was launched on February 7th, 1999. Five years later, the probe streaked through a comet, collecting dust along the way. A comet is a heavenly body made up of ice and dust that often develops a long cloudy tail of it, of dust when it is near the sun. What can you conclude about Stardust from this information? A, astronomers were not very interested in Stardust's return. B, astronomers were very excited to study the comet dust collected by Stardust. C, Stardust was considered a failure because it didn't collect enough material from space. Or D, Stardust was a success for NASA, but not for scientists. Number four, based on the text, why does the author refer to space capsule as an intergalactic treasure test? A, it holds treasures from each planet in our solar system. B, it was designed to be in the shape of a treasure test. C, it is filled with coins and bills from around the world. D, it contains valuable information about space. Number five, what is the main idea of this text? A, Stardust plunged to the ground at a speed of 28,800 miles per hour. 
B, a comet is a heavenly body made up of ice and dust that often forms a tail. C, scientists may spend the next few decades studying tiny particles of dust. Or D, a space probe's cargo may hold clues to the solar system's origins. Number six, read the sentences from the text. Most of the particles are less than one-tenth of the width of a human hair. Scientists could spend decades studying the tiny fragments. As used in these sentences, what does the word fragments mean? A, parts that are broken off. B, strands of hair. C, fruits that are overripe. Or D, collections of information. Number seven, choose the answer that best completes the sentence. Scientists, or sorry, NASA scientists were excited blank Stardust car cargo container landed safely on Earth. A, so, B, because, C, but, D, before. Number eight, according to the text, when was Stardust launched into the space? That's like a fill in the blank, answer the question. And then number nine, what did astronomer Simon Green mean when he said Stardust could provide a new window into the distant past? Use evidence from the text to support your answer. So that's the first nine questions, and then we have a few more. These are NASA Stardust Review fact and opinion questions. Number one, which of the following is an opinion? A, Stardust grabbed a piece of the comet's tail. B, its fiery dive lit up the sky. C, finding out about comets is thrilling, or D, Stardust Cargo had more than a million particles. Number two, what does Simon Green mean when he says Stardust could provide a new window into the distant past? A, the windows in Stardust provide a view of distant space. B, Stardust can give scientists information about American history. C, the dust picked up by Stardust could give clues about the origin of the solar system or D, Stardust may be able to be used as a time machine. Number three, which of the following is true about comets? A, comets are made from ice. B, comets are made from dust. C, comets are made, er, sorry, C, comets can have long dusty tails, or D, all of the above. Number four, an example of, of an opinion is A, the scientist burst into applause. B, most of the particles are less than the width of a human hair. C, it may help scientists understand how life was formed, or D, Stardust was launched on February 7th, 1999. And then your last question for this NASA Stardust article is number five, many scientists believe that comets are leftovers from the formation of the sun. Is this sentence a fact or an opinion? And explain. Hopefully this helps you guys. I don't know what else to do, so hopefully listening to me read it, maybe if there's a few words that are challenging or if you want to answer the questions while you hear it read to you, I don't know. But if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know what I could do differently to help and enjoy the rest of your day.